Hi, I'm Nick from Square Kicker. Welcome to Let's Make This, where we show you how to make anything in Squarespace using Square Kicker. I'm gonna show you how to make this really cool magazine look on Squarespace. See how I've taken these two image blocks and I've pushed them up into the next section. I've also added this cool white border around the edges of my images to give that kind of cool magazine look. All right, let's make this. So here I have a simple Squarespace site without any SK edits. I've got a banner here with some text and I have two image blocks and I wanna push these images up into my next section. But before I do that, I've noticed that, well, these two images, they aren't the same size. And I could take Squarespace and I can make the size smaller, but what I'm gonna do instead is use SquareKicker's nifty layout tool. So I'm gonna click on the SK button, find my image, and then my layout, and I'm gonna choose a ratio. Let's see what square looks like. 16 by nine, or three by two. Three by two is looking good. I'll apply that to that image. And I'm gonna to go to my other image as well and I apply the same ratio, even though I know it's the same. So now that they're both fixed to a three by two ratio, let's do some magic and push this up into the next section. Click on the SK button. And instead of clicking on my image or my text, I'm gonna click on the block. The block is the outer wrapper or the outer container that is for every single Squarespace block. So I hit block my layout, I think I'm gonna to go to position, and I'm just gonna drag this slider until I feel like it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna say 40% looks pretty good. I'm gonna apply that, go to my next block, and block again, layout, and let's go down to 40%. Now, if I really wanted to, I didn't have to drag this slider, I could have just pushed minus 30, or minus 40 to get to the exact spot I knew I needed to get to. You can, however, also put pixels by typing 200 pixels or minus 200 pixels. I think for this point, I'm just gonna pay minus 45%. And now that I've done that, I realize I kind of like this different staggered approach. So maybe I might go even a bit higher. Look at my layout. And I'm gonna go down a little bit further to maybe say 60%. That's looking kind of cool. Now, let's put some borders on here. So I'm gonna go to my SK button, select my image this time, select border, and my border color, which is gonna be white. And then select the size of my border, which is gonna be 15. If I really wanted to get funny, I could make some rounded images, but I quite like the sharp approach. My other block, click on image, border, color, and size. Cool, that's all looking pretty good, but I wonder what that's gonna do on a different size screen. So if I click on my SK button, every SK button is equipped with a device. So I can click on the laptop and see what it looks like here. I think, yep, this looks pretty good on laptop. I'll leave it as is. But what about tablet? Tablet's looking okay, but it could be better. So let's go to my block that I want to change, which is this one, and take my block positioning. Let's bring it down to 40%. Take my next one down to 40% as well. There we go. That's locked in 40%. Now, if I just check the other size devices I have, so what about my mobile device? Yeah, so that's not looking great. So let's just turn off the positioning altogether. So I'm gonna go block, layout, and just do zero. Same thing with this block. Position zero. All right, 
Now one final test. Let's just go through and make sure everything looks good. So I got my SK button, click on laptop. On tablet and mobile. And that's it. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see what you create. And if you have any features that you want to see made, hit us up at hello at squarekicker.com.